All right, I'm back here at home. A gator showing up at a popular restaurant in Baton Rouge. Only in Louisiana, right? <laughs> that really is Louisiana, <laughs> my friend. Fox 44's Ariel Salk tells us why some people say they're happy they can laugh about what was a terrifying experience. I thought somebody was walking a dog. <laughs> the cops got called on us. But it turns out it's an alligator. Inside the Monshores on the Boulevard restaurant, wine is poured, food is cooked on an open flame. But Monday night, a guest did not make a reservation. We've had state senators, uh, pulmonarians come by. We've had big names in music, rappers, some country stars. Nothing unusual like a gator. That's right. Police in the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries were called around 1030 after a person saw an eight foot alligator near the corporate boulevard restaurant. But then someone said, there's a gator out there. I was like, what? And it was on a leash. Didn't make sense. He seemed like he was just kind of big chilling, like minding his own business. Over the past 50 years, the gator populations exploded from fewer than 100,000 to more than 2 million across the state. Democratic State Representative Chad Brown says human interactions aren't the only issue. My commercial fishermen are seeing damage to their nets, their traps, their equipment that they use to fish, but you're seeing it more today, just like the alligator that was that was seen at the restaurant in Baton Rouge. Not everybody's concerned about the growing population. LDWF spokesperson Edward Pratt says the states worked hard to get the numbers up. They are native species to Louisiana and like I said we we worked uh, as we could to try to build those numbers back when they were uh, when they were really bad. Pratt says gators and humans interaction isn't ideal but it doesn't happen often and these servers are glad they can have a laugh about their snappy guest. I mean I guess we welcome all the wildlife. Everybody likes oysters. Once their shift ends, they plan to watch out for visitors like this. Maybe we'll start a buddy system. Ariel Salk, Fox 44 News. Well, the situation unfortunately does not have a happy ending for the gator. Crews determined the animal was hurt and couldn't be released back into the wild. Yeah, it really is a sad ending. Authorities euthanized and harvested the gator.